Hop in, homies. It's your boy Nitty back in the building. I'm in the studio. I'm in the sneaker closet. Y'all see all these Air Jordan ones behind me, but it's not about them. Not just yet. Even though I promise you guys my entire collection video. I gotta add new shoes onto that collection video. But nevertheless, man, I promise you guys my top five outlet pickups of 2000. 22. And that's what this video is about, man. So let's get right into it, man. Because I got a few things I got to show y'all. I got a lot of things I got to show y'all, man. So let's make it. And guys, before I show you my top five Nike outlet pickups for 2022, I got to show you my honorable mentions, man. These could have easily made the list, but they didn't. But I still respect them. I wish I could do a top 10, but nah, we're going to make it really tough this year. But anyways, man, the first honorable mention are these joints, these are the Air Max 97 Atlantic Blue Neon. I have the OG pair of this, just like an inverse with the little black. That's the fundamental difference. And these retail for $180, and I got mine for $78 at tax, like $84 out the door. Cop this from the Nike Unite store in Waterfall Lakes, man. Dope shoot, and I have seen these throughout multiple different outlets, but I have not seen them as cheap as I paid for my pair, man. Honorable mention. And my last honorable mention, man, you guys probably remember this vlog. I actually bought this outside of Orlando. I went down south to get these shoes. It wasn't with intention, but when I saw them in the building, I had to pull. I had to pull the trigger, man. These are the KD-15s. I will call them the low, but they don't make KD highs, man. So they're called KD-15s. And this is like a lemon crimson color. I think that's what the box said. And these were hitting for $128. Um, I got a little discount on them. So I think I clear like 115, 120 out the door. Um, but these I only found in the outlets. I did not see these pairs in any foot traffic sites. No foot lockers, no champs. Only in the outlet. I only saw them in two outlets, which was Violin, I think. Maybe not, if I'm wrong. No, I was, I'm sticking to my guns. I think it was Violin where I saw these. And I saw them down south. I got these at I got these at Sawgrass Mills. And both locations, they were saying for $129, but I got a little discount on mine. All right, though. Oh, I paid $115, I told y'all. All right, now the top five, man. Yo, this list do have a theme. If you guys been following me for a while, you already know my favorite shoe, so. Don't be surprised, but be surprised, man. The prices will surprise you and also the shoe. First up, peep the label. These are one Y, clearly not my size, and I'm not gonna give you guys a review, so. <laughs> Blah, out. these are the Air Jordan 1 Tokyo, one Y. Initially copped them for my son, but I don't know if I'm gonna give it to him. I don't know if his mom gonna let him rock them. Um, I think he's a one right now, he got plethora of shoes. It's just that these shoes is not malleable for his feet, so she don't want him to wear them. That's the only reason. But I still have him in the collection, man. I paid $50 out the door and I copped this at Violin Nike Outlet. It was just sitting on the shelves. So I was like, yo, I had to ask. You got any more sizes? He's like, yeah, just let me get a size that'll fit my son. At the time, he was like 11C, 12C. I always buy up anyway. So and eventually when their feet grow, they'll always have extra pairs, man. But 50 beans, cannot beat it, man. Next up, now these shoes are in a tandem. Yes, they are. Um, cause I can't mention one without men mention the other. And you guys probably already saw this vlog. If you haven't, don't be surprised. I'll probably link it up here or up here, wherever that card is. So you guys can go back and watch this vlog and understand when I tell you the value and what I paid for this joint. La da. And these, these are the Air Max BB Adapts, y'all. Self-lacing shoes. This is a size 15 and this is a eight and a half. Guys. This shoe was like hitting for like 60 something dollars. I could be wrong, 70 something dollars. But anyways, it had additional 30% off on this. So the final retail price was $34.99 each. But that's not what I paid. I had some Apple credit. You know, when you use your Apple card for so long, you know, you build up dollars. And I literally checked out with both of them and only owing 87 cents out my own pocket, guys. So I copped these for like, if you do the math, maybe like 42 cents each, 43.5 cents each for these joints. Guys, now, the whole purpose of me getting these adapts is because I have this project. I want to deconstruct these shoes and I think I'm gonna hit up the homie who worked on my shoes and clean them and restore them to see if he can dismantle or deconstruct these with minimal damage, man. So Marty, you watching? These gonna come to you. Moving past that, man, this is one of my favorite shoe of the whole entire year. And the first pair I ever purchased was at the outlet. I was surprised and I got it under retail. Now I know a lot of you guys don't like this shoe. 
but who cares? I do. I own multiple pairs. Anyways, these are the Air Jordan 1 Brotherhoods. A lot of people slept on these. A lot of them. Well, I mean by a lot, a lot of people didn't care for this shoe. Now, if it went on sale, I'm sure a lot of people would probably come back, circle back and cop. But I wanted this shoe from, from Jump, man. Found them in an outlet, it was a return. And they was hitting for what? The new Jordan 1 prices, which is 170 or 180 for some shoes. Anyways, I got an additional discount, man. So I walked out the door paying 134 for my first pair of these Brotherhoods, man. Great price, not upset. I have now owned multiple pairs. I think I own three at this point in time. But anyways, this is uh, third on the list. But I'm not really going in any particular order, man. I'm just going by, you know what I mean, backwards. I guess I am. And another shoe you guys are not gonna believe. <laughs> Oh man, I know for a fact you ain't gonna believe I cop this joint at the outlet, guys. Cop this from Nike Celebration. Nike Celebration was my outlet for 2020. And man, oh, by the way, I will be giving you guys my outlet of the year at the end of this video. Stay tuned in. Anyways, this was sitting on the shelf, man. Now, to be fair, this is a size 15, but that's the only sizes they have left. I ended up walking out the door paying 215 for a shoe that dropped two or three years prior guys nike on the back and this is not the first shoe i have cop the gs pairs from them as well so now i got extended sizes and i got gs size of this nike Air jordan 4. did i say nike or jordan 4 breads man og everything box tag yeah everything and finally finally my last outlet pickup from the nike outlet and this one it's a little bit different and I'll explain. See these joints, right? You're like, no, you didn't get, well, technically not this size, but this size, these are the Air Jordan 1 Lost and Found, and I copped them at a Nike outlet. How? I'm glad you asked. Well, somebody was returning them, and I kind of intercepted them from returning them to the cash register, and I literally bought them from that person in line. And that's how I end up with these. I will link the video here or here, if you guys don't believe. But trust, I did cop them from the Nike outlet. And this by far has to be my best purchase thus far of 2022 from the Nike outlet. I have purchased a lot more items, but to make this list short and precise, I have narrowed it down to five and two honorable mentions, man. And I hope you guys love this video and all the shoes I picked up and the prices, man. A lot of these shoes I got below retail and a lot of them I pay retail. And one particular shoe, i.e. this, I had to pay a little bit over retail. Not too much, like $10 more. But that said, man, you guys are probably wondering, Frank, what is your outlet of the year? Well, the outlet of the year comes down to a few criteria, how I pick. Product availability, the amount of items they have. Not when I go in the building, when other people go in the building, right? Because sometimes I don't get to these spots until too late. And sometimes I just walk in, I'm surprised like those Air Jordan 4s and those Jordan 1 lost and founds. So I look at availability. I look at pricing, right? Is the price reduced? This is a great bargain. Am I paying retail? So I look at those criteria, man. And I have ventured to seven different outlets this year, 2022. And I would say I visit majority of them at least 30% equally. So that means I spend 30% in one particular outlet, 30% of the year in one particular outlet. So I have an idea of which outlet was bringing the heat and at what price and which ones I was frequently visited. Now, I, I can easily sum it up to the International Drive or the Violent Outlet because both those outlets are one of the highest profiting Nike outlets in the world. I think they're neck and neck, one and two or whatever. They can rival each other at any particular year. So they always gotta have heat, right? But this particular one has made the list before. So I gotta give it to the homies over at Celebration for being the outlet of 2022 for so many different reasons. Those lost and founds, those breads, those adapts. I got them for great price and below great prices amongst other things, man. And interesting enough, I didn't visit that one as much as I did the other two I mentioned, the Violin International. So that's why I decided to pick that because it had quantity for great prices and it had a lot of stuff available. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, man. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. Hope it was pleasant. Now you guys know what I picked up for 2022. Not all, but just my top picks and also my outlet of the year, man. Celebration. They got two outlets of the year 
awards, man. Anyways, again, this is not official too, by the way. I don't, I should make it official. <laughs> Anyways, I'm out of here, man. See you on the next video. Peace.